everybody. Dave from Mathagon here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add classes to your teacher account in Mathagon, and then how to add students to those classes. So here I am at mathagon.org. I'm logged into my teacher account. I'm gonna go in the upper right and select my teacher dashboard, and I'm going to create a new class. I'll call it A Block Math. I'm gonna create that class, and there it is in my teacher dashboard. I don't have any students yet. So now I wanna show you how to add students to this class. One option if you teach in a school that uses Google Classroom is you can import your students directly from Google Classroom. So I've made a sample Google class with two students in it, my daughter Emily and my son Ryan. And so here's my Google Classroom. I'm gonna go back to my teacher dashboard in Mathagon, select import from Google Classroom, choose the Mathagon account I'd like to use. It was Math A that I made. And then there are my students in my Mathagon account. If I go over to my daughter's account at mathagon.org, you can see I'm now logged in as Emily. I go to her student dashboard, and there she is, a member of this class. To remove a student from a class, you can click on the student, select the trash can, and confirm you want to remove that student. I'll do that for both those students. I go back to my daughter's account, hit a refresh, and you can see she's no longer in the class. The other option if you don't use Google Classroom is you can have, still have students join with a class code. So I'm gonna copy the class code. You can see it's also up here at the top. I'll copy it. Back in my daughter's account, you could have students enter in the class code in their account under their student dashboard, join class, and there she is. I go back to my teacher account and refresh, and there she is in this account, in this class in my Mathagon account. Let me sign out of my daughter's account and talk about the, stu the two ways that students can make accounts in Mathagon if you aren't teaching in a school that uses Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go to create new account. I'll enter in a birth date of a student who would be 13 or above. And you can see the options there are to make an account with their Google account, their Microsoft account, or email and password. So perhaps your school has students create Microsoft accounts or Google accounts and doesn't use Google Classroom, they could use those options or just use their email and password and then students will make an account there. For students that are below 13, we'll go 08, 20, 2009. Well, I did 9, 29, 2009, still below 13 and click continue. Here students are gonna make a restricted account. And so as the teacher, you could tell them what to use as their username, making sure it doesn't contain any identifying information like their last name. Here you will enter your email as a teacher, and then you'll tell students what to use as the password. Certainly it could be a good idea to have students use the same password here that they may use for other purposes at school. Totally up to you as the teacher. When the students click create an account here, they're gonna create a restricted student account. You as the teacher are gonna get an email at the address that they put in asking you to approve that account. You have seven days to approve the account. If you don't, the account will disappear at the end of those seven days. So this is a way for students under 13 to make an account. Again, you can control what they're using as their username so there's no identifying information about the student. It's your email and you can tell them what to use as a password. For more information about all sorts of accounts on Mathagon, go to the FAQs at the bottom. You will see the second question here is what personal information does Mathagon collect? You can go to the privacy policy and scroll down. The first two questions talk all about the data that is collected, what we do with the data, and then question number three has more information about the student restricted accounts for students under the age of 13. So that's all there under the FAQs if you're interested. Finally, let me go back to my teacher dashboard. I'm now back in my teacher account. If you have a class that you want to delete, simply click on the gear, select delete class, confirm you want to do it, and the class is gone. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to show you how to add classes and add students to your Mathagon account.